Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. It's garbage day. Yep, that means it's Wednesday morning, y'all. And I uh, wanted to show you y'all this first. Uh, we we did this little uh, this little cover on this basket, and it's really it's really silly how how much time and effort we put into this. 3D, but it's but 3D printing is something we enjoy, so to be yeah. able to, to have uh, have it pay off is good. It's satisfying. Yeah. And then Molly, uh, we got Molly to use her. She has a like a ton of these uh, bottles of paint she uses for painting. She prints stuff and paints it. Yeah, like that horse figure. She's painting it. She plays some game with horses, and she she's um, painting it to match one of the horses on there. It's actually like an Irish horse, so it's going to have like rainbows and stuff on it. So maybe um, when she's done, we'll show you that if she lets us but she, we got we asked her to match the color on this and she did a really good job it does need probably one more coat there's a scratch on the paint yeah but once once we're finished this is like unless you're looking for it you won't notice it i don't think it's a really good match yeah so, yep pretty happy with that pretty good sales day yesterday we're, we're going to pull in this morning we're going to pull some orders in just a few minutes orders well orders order sales were kind of slow like through the afternoon but they picked up overnight it just does that sometimes you right. just have like a lull and then all of a sudden it picks up i can't lie ebay's been a little bit of a struggle for us lately it hadn't been um i think a couple of things number one economy number two we're just we're not getting great stuff right now that and i mean i've um in a group i'm in a lot of the other resellers are having the same issues they think it has to do with all these updates ebay's been doing i hate I, to go down that path there's a lot of conspiracies out there but um some sellers like one person said they sell maybe like six to seven items a day and they went almost two days without selling a single item that's scary yeah so i mean it, it makes you wonder if there is something going on or well it's hard to know it's hard to yeah. know if it's economy you'll, you'll or what never know. But I know, I know one thing, if we had like really, really good inventory, mm -hmm. you we sell more when oh, we yeah, have, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's, yeah, that's obvious. That's always the, yeah. that's always, it's always been the case. So we need to try and find some good inventory, like really good. I, I got my finger on the pulse of a couple of things and it's like, again, it's just so frustrating that people don't communicate. With There's them. one that she's working on that, man, I really hope it comes through. I'm trying to work on them and I can't even get the dude to answer me. Yeah. You know? so. Marketplace is like that sometimes. We're, we're also thinking about trying another uh, storage unit or two here coming up so, somewhat soon. We're looking at it. So, uh, and then, I mean, we still have our own stuff to list, but like I said, it's not the best stuff yeah so there may be we need to go back and pull some stuff out of storage yeah okay. uh candace Lonnie. why did the woman get fired from the calendar factory she missed a date she took a day off she took a day off yeah, yeah. i was trying you're to... on that you're on the right track yeah <laughs> i thought that one was pretty good i think i've heard that before actually why does the clock break when it gets hungry ran out of time because it goes back for seconds four seconds <laughs> <laughs> how many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh eight tentacles <laughs> uh, okay wait one more one more which award was given to the inventor of not not jokes who's there the no bell prize no bell. Oh, uh -huh. wow. that's a good. These were pretty decent yeah, this morning. I like good. those. Yeah. All right, good job, Dad. Jokes. All right, let's go ahead and pull some orders. We have, I think, fourteen things going out. Candace must have one of those boxes over there, but uh, I have the one I need. This is a Walmart pen order. I'm looking for W34. It is a Christmas pin. Ah, here it is, right here. This is peace. It's peace, and it has a little 
Walmart Smiley Angel. That's almost sacrilege there, Mr. Sam. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping on top. Go back here to the card box. We sold a Marvel versus DC card. B117. And yeah, we are running uh I've got the I've got the air conditioner running on low this morning. I think it's actually gonna get up today is is today the day it's gonna be like 80 degrees, Candace? Yeah crazy um this card sold for 4.99 plus ship and in D, D drawer we sold a holly hobby doll smaller than i was expecting this sold for 9.99 plus shipping on top it's by knickerbocker cc7 we sold some kind of compression socks as seen on tv uh, here they are right back here Miracle Socks, anti-fatigue compression socks. These sold for $9.99 plus shipping on top. All right, time to go to the penthouse for the VIP. <laughs> for my girl Pam Anderson, huh, Candace? Yeah, that's your girl. <laughs> Don't you regret not making another full set because they're flying off the shelf. I know, I see that. You might want to take that card out of the stash and... Candace, I do not have the. What if? What if you look? What if you look back here and it's on the stuck on the back of my computer? Or He's something. got it in one of his drawers. <laughs> in the closet, so just it up <laughs> uh, but no, we had two different people bought a set of these uh, old Pam Anderson vending. I think, I think they came out of a vending machine. Uh, glossy little wallet size stickers. They sold for $14.99 uh, plus shipping on top of these. Huh? Yeah, because I keep pictures. Right next to the picture of me, huh? I don't have any pictures in my wallet. Oh, okay. You have a picture of me in your wallet? No. I do. No, you don't. I don't even have a wallet. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> three alpha three alpha. Three alpha. We sold an alf. Who was on three alpha? <laughs> oh boy, I'm trying too hard. Uh, this sold for $17.99 plus shipping on top. It's an Alf Valentine with the fold out honeycomb thing. Two Foxtrot. We sold some boots. Get back in there and see where they're at. Okay, they must be behind this box. Oh, I see them. Actually, they aren't as big as I was expecting. I was expecting them to maybe be in a box. Yeah, these boots here. They sold for 23 something, 23.62 plus shipping on top for those. All right, over here on CC7, we sold two more of our, you saw these sold too, huh, Candace? What's that? Our uh, New Orleans Saints Crown Royal bags. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sold two of them for $74.98 plus shipping on top. So I sent out offers, and I think these were uh, part of the offers, but that's a really good sale also sent out offers we have uh just a few we don't have very many at all these monster highs m3 is what i'm looking for once upon a time that box right there was chock full of monster high now it just has a few uh this one sold for 15.29 plus shipping on top i know i sent an offer for that one and D, &D drawer I have a box full of all of these uh, Star Trek Deep Space Nine promo cards. It's all the same card. And uh, yeah, I just listed them for $2.99 a, a pop uh, times 54 and we sold the first one. So I'll take it out, put it in a penny sleeve and top loader and ship it out via eBay standard envelope with one of 
these envelopes right here. As a matter of fact, we're getting kind of low on these candles. We need to go ahead and make an order for some of these. Let me go see. I, I, I'm the Amazon ones, I guess. We do have a coupon, but I'm waiting for the the those boxes to come in stock. Maybe we should just go ahead and use it, huh? Let me see if they're even in stock. Okay. I'm gonna I we I wanted to order some more of those um like they're they're the the vinyl mailers or book mailers or whatever you want to call it, and they were out of stock. Uh, that's what I wanted to use my coupon on. The new coupon for the quarter but they didn't have them so maybe we'll just order another batch of these nine echo we sold a lot of oh it might be these guys see so, yeah, i think it is these guys i'm not going to use this box to ship them in but it's like uh horses And some uh, little knight looking guys, medieval looking stuff. That's some nice stuff there. Uh, sold those for $21.24 plus shipping on top. And just a couple more things. We sold uh, a Mr. Peanut pot holder. And look, we only have one left. Started with 10, paid a dollar a piece. And we've sold $90 worth of Mr. Peanut now. $9.99 plus shipping on top for this guy. And then the last order, this is a really good one. This actually happened this morning. We have two books that are like about construction. Two Bravo. The first one. I bought both of these books at the same time at a garage sale for $5. I could just tell by looking at them they were going to be pretty good. This one's about cranes. And then on 8 Echo... I think they're put out by like a union or something. Eight Echo, here's the other one. This one is about rigging for iron workers. And somebody bought both of them. Uh, for 70, the total for both was 71.98 plus shipping on top. So that little $5 buy worked out really well. And that's everything that sold in the past 24 hours or so. Gonna get this stuff packed now. I got everything packed. One Ikea bag and then one package under there. Like that is a really, I'd take this, this every day in sales, I would just love. Cause it was easy to pack for the most part. The ALF thing, I did have to get a little creative and believe it or not, this is a first class package. It's not even, at the highest rate, it's a 12 ounce first class package. It is at the maximum length though. I think the max length you can go 21 or 22. I can't remember, I just measured it and looked it up. But uh, yeah, really good, uh, efficient sales day. I am now just, our, our carrier's actually out there right now picking up our packages. But uh, I am actually listing cards again, just for a little bit. Um, I did watch, LSU lose last night and um, while I was doing that I sorted cards out just finding cards that my threshold is three dollars or more and I'll list them individually that's my cutoff uh, it's really fast though like I just listed this is 20 cards right here and they mostly were three dollars uh, but the total is of listings here is 70 and I photographed and listed them all in well under an hour. So in my opinion, that's worth it, provided they eventually sell. And our history has been that the cards do mostly all sell. So the fact that they're opened up like that, uh, we have so much room because at one point, uh, both sides of this box, for instance, were uh, full and I had to go to another box. And now I actually have to fill in the gaps with paper so they don't fall over. I learned something new today. What's that? About stamps. I, I know nothing about stamps. So we had this, these are all from Thailand. And um, I found out that whenever they're stamped on the first day of issue, when they're mm -hmm. canceled like this, it's called first day cover. Yep. Or you'll see FDC. I, I didn't know that, I found that yep. out. 
Um, so I had 10 complete sets of this series, listed them at 10 bucks each. So um, that's $100 in listings right there. <laughs> and then I have these um, sets here on postcard and about to list for 10 each. Um, this stuff is really obscure. Um, when I do find comps, it's not on the actual, on these cards or these issued envelopes. It's just like sheets loose yep. or maybe stuck on something. Um, I did find a company online though that was selling these at 19 a pop. So I went ahead and just did them at 10, just trying to move them, you know. Why not? Yeah. So I thought that was interesting. Now I've never heard of that. I've heard of like canceled or postmark stamps for collectors, but I didn't know that, that's why. what they are. Yeah. I didn't know why they did it. Yeah. So. They, they have, yep. I've heard of them before. I don't yeah. know that much about stamps either, but yeah. So we're both listing some, uh, some of some of the low value but uh easy to store and ship kind of stuff yeah and easy right to now. list, fast to list very fast to list just mm -hmm. like the candace came just like the walmart pins that's another thing like we we prefer to have like high value fast selling stuff but if it can't be high value and fast selling then at least it could be low value small and easy and fast to list yeah and then hopefully sell at some point like Today I listed uh, let's see, twenty Walmart pins in about an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. Um, I'm just I've been listing Walmart pins all week. I, I'm like I look for something different. I just oh no 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 yeah that I makes got a little sense. burnout this week. I'm not done with them, but I just needed a break from them. And I'm like, let me look look around and see what we have. And I found these stamps. I'm like, let me see what's up with these. I assumed I was gonna do one lot, maybe auction them. But I, my curiosity got the best of me, so <laughs> I had to research them. No, I think that was the best way to go because yeah. that's the reason we st I hadn't listed them yet because I didn't know what to do with them. Yeah. So you're you doing the research works out. Uh, I, I like I just like to have days like this sometimes where I, I put myself into a nice repetitive task and just chill. Mm -hmm. Listen, like I've been listening to an audio book. Yeah. While I've been working, and I don't know what Candace has been doing while she works. I can't I can't do that because I get distracted and then I make mistakes. I can't multitask like that unfortunately. I wish. Uh, audio for me audio books I can usually kind of do it. Maybe music but definitely not something where I have to pay attention. To I don't there. have to but these these cards though like I use the same exact description for each and every one. I have before I even start listing I already have like my inventory location here. So each listing, all I have to do is pop the pictures in there, and then I add U151. I put it in the title. I I found that I make enough mistakes with custom SKU that if I put it in the title and the custom SKU, if I screw one of them up, the other one will be there. And that's actually bailed it's me out. It's coming handy, yeah. It's bailed me out a few times. So yeah. I, I do that. So if you yeah. see like U151 in a title, that's the reason. I know it doesn't have to be publicly visible. Uh, but I make it like that for my own benefit. And then everything else pretty much stays the same. Um, I, I do two ounces, eBay standard envelope, promote it 5%. I do all that stuff. And then it like takes 30 seconds per listing at that point. So yeah, the, these are very low brain power for me to do those a custom skew i had a viewer tell us on a comment that they use that to kind of do their bookkeeping yep they put they'll put the date that they bought it right and then what they pay for it in that custom skew so all the work is right there in the listing for them so i thought that was interesting way to um, utilize that yeah some people do their bookkeeping per item um we well, don't do that no 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 <laughs> we don't i know no, that, that, that no don't want to do that but i i can definitely you you can choose to do it either way but uh yeah that, i could definitely see how that would be useful the only thing is i hate storing that kind of information yeah like relying on ebay not to dump all my custom skews one day or I something know. you know <laughs> all right we, we have a visitor out here today she's acting crazy come on coda coda <laughs> that's our grand pup coda this is our oldest daughter's dog. He came to visit. I know. He's excited, He's excited too. Look at him. <laughs> you wanna go run an aisle? <laughs> wanna go run an aisle? Come on, come on. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's kind of slick, huh? <laughs> 
Oh man, this would be it, this that would be a destructive shed dog there, oh, I think. Yeah. He's, he's still very young. <laughs> it's okay. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, you're so crazy. Yeah, he's not even two years old, so he's still kind of young. Is he allergic or something? No, or he, he keeps sneezing out here. He's just excited. Okay. All right. Tell everybody bye. All right. That's going to be it for us today, huh? Yeah, I think. So. Well, I'm still working, but yeah. I'm, right, I'm going to list some more cards, but I'm yeah. Finish up my postcards. That's going to be it for uh, the video, though. So yeah. thanks a bunch for watching, and hope y'all enjoy meeting Coda. Say goodbye, Coda. And we will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.